Yes, from Sinister Cinema, and I'm here to give you fair warning. So today's movie I'm going to talk about. I do not own it. Thank, thank God. It's a movie I saw on Netflix last night. It's called Kill Katie Malone. So basically, the premise is these kids are in the dorm and they. They're on this website. It's kind of like eBay, but they call it something else, of course, because they can't use eBay, of course. Um, so they go and they see there's a box for sale that there a ghost is in it, and they said you want to buy a box that has a ghost. And then it's they put a bid because they think it's so funny that there's a ghost in the box, and they actually win it, like they actually own it now, so. They get the box, it turns out the box does have a ghost, and her name is Katie Malone. Now, since they own it, um, the Katie kills uh, other people, and now that, um, so all this strange things going on there, our teacher dies, one of, um, um, one of the friends that bought the box, their friend, um, like chopped up her hand, but it wasn't really damaged, like the ghosts inside of them or something. So, <coughs> so they figure out, yes, the thing is real, we need to get rid of it somehow. So, what they do is like, they like hold the box, like, and he goes, I set you free, you can go free now, or something. And then split second, something like, 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 he goes like that, like, oh, I guess it's over. It's never really over. It, it's, it's, it, ugh. Oof. It, like, in movies, it can't happen that quickly, people, you know. So it's not over. This, so since, um, they betrayed her. She's gonna kill his friends, and then gonna kill him, unless he sells the box on the generic eBay. I forgot what's called. I don't even care what's called. Um. So the guy who bought the box gets that call. Uh, says that since he wanted to set her free or whatever, um, you she he betrayed the ghost or something. So the ghost is mad, gonna kill his friends and gonna come and kill him. But to stop it, he needs to So um, needs to um sell it on the fake or the fake eBay. Um so I just lost my chains out because I had to pause it. Um like and to edit some stuff out. Um now I'm back, so I'm like, mm. so basically, I know to save his friends, and save himself, he's still again, that's the only way, so he'll get back in the box, and the ghost won't be his anymore. So this girl calls him and tells him that, and says, you have to summon the box. So put it on eBay, she puts it on eBay, and then she buys it, but something goes wrong. Well. Turns out her card got declined. So she goes, she goes, wait, 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 let me get another card. And while that's happening, um, his two other friends are in their gym. I think it's their gym. And some weird stuff is happening to them. And then, so, he tries to save, um, his friends, but the door's locked. And all of a sudden, when the card, like, gets accepted, the door opens, so he goes, runs to where she's at, um, one of his friends dies, but the girl survives, and I'm telling you the whole thing, seriously, um, 
you don't have to rent them yet. Yeah, just visualize it while I'm saying it. So now this other girl owns it. Mm. Alright, now she owns it. So she takes it to her house. Um, this one? Wait, how much time I'm going? Okay. Um, so she puts it to her house. And it turns out the person who sold it to the guy is actually the dad of the girl who just bought it. So he goes, why did you, did you just buy it again? Like, why did you do that? And while they're struggling for the box, it opens, and then the goat comes out, and then the door closes, and then it ends. I should tell you the reason the dad um, was selling it was because his daughter, he had another one, let's say her name's Abby, I forgot. She opens the box, and the ghost killed her. So, he sells the box in order, in order to get rid of it. So, that's how this whole thing comes about. So, at the end, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a twist. Like, oh, the other daughter bought a bag. Uh, just stay away from it. It's not good. Um, they're selling it um, at Walmart for 12 bucks um, in a combo pack. It's a Blu-ray and DVD, and they don't sell it any, like, any way else. They, you have to buy them both in a combo pack. I don't have a Blu-ray, and the only reasons, the only reason I buy those combo packs, if I do, is because they either have the DVD in it or a digital copy. Um, cause I love digital copies, um, but this one just gonna be the DVD and Blu-ray. DVD, I don't wanna own it. You know, in my head, if I watch something, I have to own it. So maybe, if it does come down cheaper, I'm gonna buy it just cause that's the way I am. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna watch it again, cause I, I'm not. Um, but I just have to own it for m my head purposes. No, um, so yeah. So this was this is T S from uh Sinister Cinema and you just been warned, baby. Okay, one more thing before I go. Since I give you a fair warning, I wanna give you a recommendation. Um, it's called Tucker and Dell versus Evil. It's it's an amazing horror movie. It's a comedy horror. It is amazing. It's like a spoof on all these it's not, I mean, it's a spoof, but it's not absurd in movie that's spoofing. It, they're just having fun, and it's amazing. First half, amazing. Middle part, you're still good, but the third part, you're gonna have to really, like, you know, first half, great. Middle, start getting. And then it kind of loses you, but not really. So, you pro I love this film. That's why I'm recommending it. Um, and it didn't go to theaters. It was straight to DVD. They had a Walmart, so go pick that up. Or if you don't want to own it, they have it on Netflix. Um, instant streaming. So, there you go. So, this is... Yes, from Sinister Cinema, and you just been warned, baby. Ah. Oh.